Hi everyone, come get ready with me to attend Climate Conference. I'm attending the Miami Aspen Institute Conference. So I'm at a conference with my best friend and you know for every climate conference I'm at they never have vegan food You can see here. It's literally a packed room Today is day five of the Aspen Conference and we're talking about, we're here in the background and I'm going to go on about youth climate activism. Hey everyone, I'm here today at the Aspen Institute and I just did my closing video. I'm super excited to let you all know what happened. I got to speak on a total of four panels. The conference itself was really great. I actually got to take a photo with VP Harris. Um, they basically chose, I think, ten um, climate activists or activists from the Future Leader Summit program to choose the photos and you know they didn't choose it Aspen it was actually the White House other things is that uh, climate conferences do provide a lot of unique connections I always tell people you do not need every connection not every person wants to work with you not every person cares about you who cares about you the most the ones who you are able to share a laugh with that actually see for who you are and directly follow you and directly say I really want to work with you I had like you know Mount Ted people that said that and you know I have to follow up but the thing the biggest thing about conferences is that how you follow up and how you show up for people is super super important on that end. I was able to connect with an environmental justice elder Catherine Coleman Flowers who serves at the um, EJ White House Council and she is so amazing. I mean the fact that she was behind the panel which I was speaking at Aspen and I got to like hang out with her even more after it really showcased cases like you know elders are really accessible for young people and you know I've already met Dr. Robert Bullard at COP26, um, Beverly Wright, um, Peggy Shepard and now Catherine Coleman Flowers it's like it's amazing that meeting all these EJ elders that I used to read in undergrad and actually get to have a thoughtful discussion with them on that end it really means a lot to me that I've been able to develop my public speaking voice in this space because I think as a queer Latino PSC environmentalist I always realized that I always am the opposite of what people expect and I'm not saying like being queer makes me unique, it's just the fact that I realize there's not that many Latinos in the environmental movement that are public speakers or public figures and you know to me that makes me a little bit sad because I realize like who do I look up to or who are other elders I can look up to in my space and there are a few of course, I'm not saying that there's not any. I really hope you all enjoyed some of my moments at Aspen Institute. I really want to be able to go to more climate conferences and speak and continue building my portfolio out here. Thank you so much everyone for watching and let me know what you think about this vlog.